But then they come back and it's like, okay, well, everything sucks. It's not very good. Like we got to work. They changed their minds after they went on no, break? No, no, it worked. Okay. We achieved the goal, but it's not very good. The code is ugly. There's technical debt. There's okay. this and that and the other thing. It only runs an A100. It's only one model. This isn't useful. This isn't like a valuable contribution. And, uh, you know, I, I built some things in the past, right? And so I said, well, that's okay. We have one thing that works end to end and we know 400 ways to make it better. Yeah. And so instant mode switch. And at that point you say, okay, well, let's just break it down like a normal engineering problem. It's not R and D anymore. It's an engineering problem. You say, okay, cool. Let's refactor these APIs. Let's deprecate this thing. Let's, oh yeah, let's add H100 support. Let's add function calling and token sampling and like all the different things you need. You can project manage that, yeah. right? And so every six weeks we've been shipping a new release. And so we added all the function calling features. And now you have agentic workflows. We have 500 models. We have H100 support. Uh, we're about to launch our AMD MI300 and 325 support. That'll be a big deal for the industry. And as you do that in Blackwell, like all this stuff is like all now in the product. And so as this happens, now suddenly it's like, oh, okay, I get it. But this is a very fundamentally different phase for us because it works. 